In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Minecraft Bedrock Edition's version of Optifine. The download can be found in the description down below, but without further ado, let's get started in today's awesome video. Here, we're going to be taking a look at the Bedrock Demise texture packs right over here, but I'm also going to be going over the Bedrock Demise Plus pack over here, which basically allows you to control your render distance to a completely different level. So we can actually set our render distance to one chunk over here if we want to get the most ultimate FPF boost, because obviously we really don't get that option in the game but we can go up to five chunks over here so we're going to set this to two chunks over here and we also of course do have the regular better optimized texture pack right over here made by nether ninja here are some of the features that better optimize has to offer a single tap f5 toggle organized settings new start screen ui low foliage remove water fog add a better optimized title replace item group icons with arrows and a change selection items to green and much more features over here you guys can of course take a look at all the terms of uses as well but this is honestly such a good a texture pack over here and next up we actually have recommendations for our settings so we can get the best performance so definitely consider taking a look at these over here by turning off vsync putting our render distance all the way low and all that good stuff so we're just going to um you know just take a look at that over here and of course we do have new and improved settings over here it even gives us a upscaling and ray tracing option over here but unfortunately if we're on mobile we cannot do that and of course we do have a quick camera perspective over there you will also notice that they completely changed the menu over here here and now it is updated to be in the halloween panorama so here i am in my texture pack showcasing world and one thing you'll notice is that they actually made the coordinates much more visible they added like a little black barrier to it which i think is pretty cool it definitely does make it stick out more there's also a lot of significant ui changes especially with the creative menu so look at this boys it looks really cool if you ask me as you can tell we can literally put in our armor over here and it tells us like a lot more information it gives us a compass over here and a clock as well so we can actually tell what time it is without actually needing to craft a compass or of course a clock which i personally think is super useful we also have these other buttons over here that make us go down which is also another really cool thing we also have like a armor display thing over there where it does show you how much protection you have from your armor so that is definitely a really cool thing and next up we actually have some new chat settings as well so if we type in sus right over here just like so it is going to type in sus but of course but if you press on preview over here it's actually going to copy and paste it just like so so if you guys really wanted to you can spam sus all day long which is probably what i'm gonna do let me know in the comment section down below if we go to the settings we actually have a couple of quick options over here including this really cool um you know switching camera perspective menu over here where we can switch between the different perspectives so that is definitely really cool all right we're now going to be taking a look at some advanced settings that this texture pack does actually have to offer that are not in the regular vanilla minecraft so anyways we actually have text background opacity over here so you guys can set this to 100 basically the lower you put it the more transparent it's going to appear next up we have hud opacity so we're actually going to set that to like um 35 and over here is actually like where we're able to get more fps and that is max frame rate right over here so what you guys can do is you guys can actually turn this down and you guys can literally turn it down to like like a 10 fps and you're just going to continue getting 10 fps and that's the maximum so that is like that could technically help you out with lag but i wouldn't recommend going all the way low to 10 um you know fps go to like 30 or something or maybe even 20 but i'm just going to be going on 20 over here and we should be able to run this way more smoother you will also notice that we are in a regular survival world with clear water so it actually does make the water much more clear which is very useful and of course when we do go underwater we are basically able to see everything which is definitely a major plus you'll notice that now that we turn down the opacity of our hud it is barely visible but it is there although it does get slightly invisible so that is pretty cool if you ask me i definitely do appreciate settings like those and over here we have a gui scale modifier over here so you guys can actually set it to negative one or even to negative two over here so if you want it to look more like pc then definitely consider putting it to negative two but if you're you know like me and want to have all the letters big then put it on zero over here we can also enable open the chat screen animations camera shake show auto save icon and vsync make sure that it says vsync enabled because if you disable vsync it is going to make your game run way more smoother so definitely consider doing that and over here we can actually just press on it whether to enable it or disable it but if you're trying to you know boost your game's fps then definitely put it on disabled over here because you don't want to get that just like minecraft java edition this actually does optimize 
customize your shaders as well so anyways we have some shaders right over here the fry bright shaders over here and we're actually going to combine it with the better optimize over here and it will run much more smoother all right so what's really cool is that it's actually going to give us a combination of the shader and the better optimized texture pack over here so as you can tell we have the fry bright shader over here but what's really cool is that it's literally the exact same ui as a better optimize so in most cases not all cases but in most cases whenever you do combine a shader with better optimize it's actually going to mix them two together just like it did right over here just like of course optifine from of course minecraft java edition take a look at this boys we actually are able to run these shaders even with the better optimize over here which is pretty cool if you ask me honestly it doesn't really look the best but if you want to like get that fpf boost then you do have to sacrifice a little bit of the shader quality which i know is definitely a very unfortunate trade-off and we literally have all the features from better optimize as well combined with the shader that we do have as well so that is really cool if you ask me so it is kind of unfortunate that we do have to sacrifice a little bit of quality in order to get that fpf boost but i do know that it is worth it and if that wasn't cool enough you can actually use this optimizer in servers as well and it is pretty cool if you ask me as you can tell we are able to see all the chat functions over here and of course the quick settings and we we're able to use them on the servers such as the hive so that is definitely a really cool thing to have our hud at the capacity that we did set it to so that is also another really cool thing and it definitely does show that this texture pack does offer a lot of customization albeit the npcs do get a little bit glitchy whenever you use this pack but this is still worth it and it will definitely make your games run way more smoother and it will definitely help you out in the long run remember if you want the download to this it can be found in the description down below and in the pink comments make sure to subscribe as we are trying to aim for 200,000 subscribers please like comment and subscribe see you later french fries